Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me for today's video. The, now the last two days we've gone through AutoCAD and the UCS, Advanced Steel in the UCS and now I'm in Plant 3D. I don't use the UCS in Plant 3D the, and the reason for that is traditionally and even through the, the course of my time as, as being a piper, plant projects usually and not every time but traditionally in offshore you have a pipe that runs north south okay um, and that could also be because you know offshore platforms they're they're you know quite square in in shape um, and programs like PDS when they were created you'd have a plant north so up and down the screen and a plant east and west but traditionally um, the plant might be going that way but the software always worked better when you're in the north south and the reason for that would be as well because when you run what's called an isometric in plant 3D um, you're not going to get skew triangles and I'll show you what that is going to look like in a second when this ISO has finished so the skew triangles will appear on an ISO when it's off, off the north and you can see here because we're running north-south the isometric fabrication drawing doesn't have the skew triangles but I'll show you what happens when I do a, another pipe run uh, and I'll turn the compass off so if I do this ISO so if you were to follow magnetic north and isometric it, uh, the, the software this way, you are going to get skew triangles because it's, you know, sort of going against the grain of this whole sort of north south being up and down the screen kind of thing. And we'll just have a look at that isometric. You can see there it is there. So even though the plant north, the ISO is set to be to the plant north. So everything off that plant north is going to get this kind of look. Now we can get around that by inside advanced, uh, inside plant 3d we can rotate this and uh, offset the distances and get real world coordinates and real world rotations but um, usually in my experience in setting up a project is finding out what is the north south and it might be the most mm, you know the majority of lines that are going in one direction we can call that the north south you know the spine of the project and that way your ISOs will turn out better now if you're going to work on the rotations as well so if I do another line here you can see that it's you know locking it so I mean because I'm doing 90s but anyway if I control right click let me turn the compass on. So now with the compass on, you can see I can change which work plane I'm working in. Okay, and then if I control right click again, you can see plant spins itself around. So this is just why I don't use the UCS for plant projects because I can just orientate it using the compass. Okay, you can see that way I can work you know, off this 45, and then we can come back over here, and then I can come back and do, uh, let's do a flat run. Okay, so that way we can use the compass to adjust all of that. So I don't think there's anything really stopping you from doing the UCS, but I think you might find life a lot easier if you nominate a north-south of the plant as close to zero, zero as possible because plant 3D doesn't like uh, real world coordinates. So nominate a, a bottom left corner of the plant so everything's in positive X and positive Y and then use the compass so the compass up here so we can change it to let's make them all 30 degrees and then when you do okay so then that way you can see we can go through and just adjust all of the values there and I don't need to, to modify and rotate the UCS Okay, <clears throat> so then that way, uh, like I
like I said, so if I come back, let's do a quick ISO. Uh, let's do let's do this section here. <clears throat> you can see again because we're working in the screen north south, and your magnetic might be sort of coming up over this way. So let's say make magnetic north is heading out that direction. So if we were to have everything on this skew then you can see your plant will be coming out this way and the ISOs won't work. Oh, they, they will work but you're going to get skew triangles everywhere so it's, it doesn't look good. So now, so you can see here because we're running in the traditional north south we don't get skew triangles here, we do get a skew triangle on this run here which is completely understandable because we're running at a 45, we're not going up down, we're not doing sort of up down in the Z direction so we're going to get a couple of skew triangles here but traditionally we're not going to get it for the rest of our north south runs there so again I can't stress this enough when you do set up plant projects don't automatically assume that they're going to be in a magnetic north south they're going to be in a plant north south okay and with the ISOs we can offset those values in the project settings if you really want to have um, real world rotations so then under the uh, where are we annotations under the ISO style default settings this is where we've got rotate and distance okay so you can set up a style that will have the real world so I guess you could call it real world ISOs and then you can have all of those values populated in there but um, again you have to have a think about how many skew triangles are going to be on it uh, it just looks messy and it's not going to be legible for the fabricator so the fabricator uh, you know in my experience the fabricator is just interested in knowing where to weld between here to here um, he's not really too fussed on where it is in the in the real world location but having said that you can get the isometrics out in the field uh, and then they will tell the installers where they're connecting to and what other uh, equipment they're connecting to and where they're flanging as well so you have to have a think about a lot of those things before um, you know you set it up and nominate where your plant north south is you might even run the plant east west but nominate something that's going to be your main run up and down the plant there's always going to be something where it's um, you know a pipe rack or a cable tray or something that the pipes are going to be sitting in or near and that's going to be your north south so uh, if you have any comments on it below I'd, I'd love to, to hear them um, and your experience with using the UCS in Plant 3D but usually if I've taken over projects or worked uh, on projects where they uh, were in a, in a UCS, in a funky UCS, it's never been a good experience for me personally and this is why I always nominate an up down so thanks for watching, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't but please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all of my videos uh, and I will see you tomorrow for some uh, more Autodesk videos. See you later.